Oh my goodness, Ruth. I, I can't forget the good news. Okay, so hang on. I got some good news for you now. Good news for you now. Good news coming your way. And I'm in a mug giveaway. <laughs> okay, good news coming your way. Yvonne, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, you guys ready for some good news? This is the part of the show where... Are you ready for this? So there's a waitress who's just in tears after she received a thank you note from a widow who was eating alone. Since the start of the pandemic, there have been tons of stories be, make, make in the media rounds about crazy, generous restaurant customers leaving behind outrageously large tips to the amazement of stunned and deliriously happy wait staff. While it's true that an extra or even extravagant monetary tip is always nice, bonus, sometimes a heartfelt show of appreciation can mean a whole lot more. Last Sunday, as a waitress, Megan King was working a routine shift, she was, she took an order of an elderly woman who was eating alone. King classed their interaction as pleasant, but nothing of the ordinary. She came. Oh, it's Maria Grazia as our feature member. Wow, I'm so sorry. I missed it up until now. She came in about halfway through my 17-hour shift. Wow, it's a long shift. And it was on a Sunday, which is always pretty busy around here. Sorry, y'all. It's always busy on Sunday, King told Newsweek. About halfway through her meal, it started to slow down, so we chatted for a few minutes. Just had a little chit-chat. Small talk, nothing too deep, and then she told me that she was almost 70 and she just wanted to stop by an old favorite stop of hers for a bite. But the note that the patron left behind, the $3 tip on her $11 check, brought kings to tears. Thank you so very much for your kind service, the note read. This was my first time. Thank you, Lisa Taylor. This was my first time eating out alone since my husband passed. And I was hoping that I could just get through it, is what she said. As she had eaten her meal, King noticed that the woman seemed quite quiet and contemplative. The waitress's first instincts made her assume that there might have been something wrong with the food. <laughs> but in hindsight, King wishes that she had even been more alert to her customers' cues. I wish I could have taken her quiet as an invitation, she told Newsweek. I think that's what she really wanted. Looking back, I guess she did, in a way. She just needed an ear. King says that she was so choked up with emotion that when she read the note that she had to take a moment to pull herself together <clears throat> back in the ladies room. On Tuesday, captioned only with the words in pain, King posted a picture of the note <clears throat> and one of her tearful reaction to Twitter. Whew, wowzies. Well, that'll jerk some tears.